Hello everyone, my name is Mina Ali. I am a newly qualified pharmacist and a Kingston University alumni. I am currently a full-time locum pharmacist and um, I work all over London in community pharmacies. So every year the NHS creates uh, campaigns all over the nation to encourage the public to go for their flu jabs. It is vital for everyone to go for their annual flu vaccination, but especially people who are mostly at risk like elderly people, people with clinical risks like diabetics, asthmatics, people with heart problems, people who are immunocompromised, pregnant women. The flu vaccination will reduce your chances of contracting the influenza virus, but also if you end up catching the influenza virus, it will definitely help to reduce your symptoms. Even though the flu is a virus, not a bacterial infection, if it stays in your body for too long, it can cause bacterial growth and thus turn into a bacterial infection. So by taking the flu jab this year, you are not only shielding yourself against the virus, but you are also lessening your chances of needing antibiotics this year and reducing your antibiotic resistance. Uh, so it is very important before traveling to uh, pay a visit to your local pharmacy, especially if they run a travel clinic and have a talk with your pharmacist about the risks of contracting certain diseases in the country that you're going to. Uh, so many countries, especially in Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, where you need to take sometimes a mix of vaccinations before you travel there, some anti-malarial tablets, a very good tool that pharmacists use is the fit to travel website which provides thorough information for each country and the risks of contracting the diseases and provides general advice even about sun protection, uh, whether you need malaria tablets uh, and it's a very good tool that is widely used. Uh, I think that it is a very disturbing fact that a lot of people go to, when they go to countries where, let's say, the rules guarding medication handling are not as strict and as firm as they are in the UK, and then they just load up on antibiotics, steroids, and other medications that you can't just have without a prescription here in the UK. Uh, I think that's very risky because then they come here and with the slightest cold they'll just take the antibiotic without correct dosing, without the advice of a doctor. Uh, that is the reason why we are having antibiotic resistance now. That is why now a simple chest infection cannot be treated, sometimes causes death in so many people because they have taken every antibiotic on the planet and now their body is resistant to it you can't do anything um, it's very important to spread awareness I feel like I feel like this is a topic that we always talk about but people never take it seriously how important it is to never take antibiotics unless you absolutely need it and unless it is decided by your doctor that you need this antibiotic Please follow the Antibiotic Awareness Campaign Instagram page. I think you will find a lot of useful information there. Uh, I love their slogan, use wisely, take precisely. I think it's very catchy and good. And uh, yeah, thank you again for having me.